Eight News' coverage of the in-custody death of Ivo Otieno continuing tonight. A security consultant and former police chief weighing in on the surveillance video. You're watching 8 News at 6. I'm Eric Phillips. I'm Deanna Albritton. The video shows the treatment of Otieno at Henrico Jail and the transport to Central State Hospital that followed. 8 News reporter Olivia Jacobs is live in the Digital Center after reviewing that video. Olivia, what can you tell us? Well, Eric, Deanna, Mike Jones has decades of law enforcement experience, including right here in Richmond. While he tells me he sees systemic failures that contributed to the death of the 28 year old, he also says he believes Henrico Sheriff's deputies did what they could to get Otieno in the safest position possible. Those deputies, along with three hospital workers, now facing second degree murder charges. The in custody death of a Henrico man caught on camera. Watching the tragedy unfold, security consultant and former police chief Mike Jones says he sees systemic failures. I don't see abuse. I see a, a tragedy brought about by mental illness. 8 News sat down with him today, reviewing surveillance video from Henrico Jail West and Central State Hospital, frame by frame, showing the events leading up to the death of 28 year old Ivo Otieno. Earlier this month, he was at Henrico Jail West for at least three days without medication something Jones says there is no excuse for. Then surveillance video shows him being moved to Central State Hospital in mental distress. The 28 year old is seen here in the hospital admissions room surrounded by more than a dozen people. We can't see Otieno's body. What do you make of what's happening here? Well, let's look at the physical scenario first. We're lacking in video surveillance. Having one camera is simply not enough. But 8 News' legal requests for body-worn camera video from the Henrico Sheriff's deputies have been denied because it does not exist. These are, are assistive moves into what you're seeing now is getting him on his side, which is a position used to avoid aspiration of any vomit or any other compression of the airway. The fact that he's handcuffed in front that creates a void space between his chest and the floor. I'm seeing nothing there that would be uh, out of practice. However, Dinwiddie County Commonwealth's attorney Ann Baskerville says the preliminary cause and manner of death has been ruled a homicide by suffocation. Depending on the autopsy results, that's going to tell a, a big, big story. A word that we've seen come up a lot is him being combative. Do you see that when you watch this video? I wouldn't call him combative. I would call him doing what people in a mental health crisis do, moving because the, they, they are not aware of what they're doing. The goal is to get him in, in a location to where he can be safely treated be it in a, in a chair. But video shows when Otieno is first brought into the admissions room at Central State, he is seated. We see the Central State hospital workers standing around on the exterior. Yes. Is that normal? Central State staff should have intervened quicker. Now, I also asked Jones about the number of deputies involved, and he tells me it is typical to have two or three in the actual transport vehicle with the potential for more support, depending on the history of the individual. Those deputies now out now all out on jail, rather out of jail, rather on bail. They are due back in court in the coming months for now live in the Digital Center. Olivia Jake with 8 News.